In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add a percentage symbol in our X scale right here or in every tick label. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how we can add a percentage symbol to the ticks in the X scale in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to go to chartjs3.com, getting started, this specific link here. And you can find this link as well in the description box. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code. Copy all of this. If you want to understand the code, make sure you watch this video here. I'll paste this all in there, cut out the title, put the title in here. Save, refresh. There we are. Let's maximize the size of the chart. Say 80%. Save and refresh. To put percentages here, it would not make sense to have the names of the day here. So we have to swap this to create a horizontal bar chart. So let's do that first. We're going to say here in the options, index, axis, and we're going to swap this with the Y, the X, and the Y will be swapped by indicating that the Y will be the category axis. Once we do this, the categories jump here. All right, so now what we can do here is start to put in the percentages. For that, I'm going to change this y into an x because begin at zero should be on the x scale now once we did that you can refresh nothing really changes here it's already by default set on that so that's no problem but once we did this what we want to do now is to go in here and customize the ticks so i'm going to use the ticks object and then what we're going to do is we're going to say a callback and with the callback there are three different arguments we're going to use the value the index and we can say here the values then we're going to do here, or we're going to put in here a function error expression and curly braces. And at first, let's do a console log and see what will happen. If I put this in here, save this, refresh, you might say what's going on with the X scale because the X scale suddenly disappears. Don't worry about it. It is right now not showing because we don't return anything. But let's see what the console log shows on value. And you can see here we get these values here and it loads twice. The reason why it loads twice is because it's probably getting this side and probably from the other side, I assume, there's another Y scale as well. Oh, sorry, an X scale. There's a, a top and bottom X scale. We can put in two, two scales in here. Anyway, it doesn't matter so much or for some reason, if I load now, it just only shows once. That's all fine. So maybe it's slightly different, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So we have this, we get the value here. And what is very important is you can see here zero all the way to 18. If I'm going to remove this, save, refresh, you will see now I get zero all the way to 18. So this is correct. So next is the index, which is probably not always necessary, but can be very useful, especially if you have a category axis. So you can see here, we have here zero till nine, meaning there are 10 different lines. Is this correct? Well, we can test this by refreshing again and count the lines here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm talking about lines, but it's basically the grid lines, but also we are basically pinpointing the ticks itself. So it will calculate 10 ticks. So in this case, that is correct. So the final one is the values. And if we do the values here, we put it in here, you will notice that if I do it like this, it will show 10 items, but if we click on it, it shows nothing. And the reason why is we didn't do a return here. So if we do a return, we will get the lines as well. So let's say here, we return the value because that will make the most sense. I refresh here, we get all the values back here. If I change this to index, you will see that moment, it becomes zero all the way to nine. But of course, I don't want the index of the lines or the of the tick labels. I want the values itself. However, once I do this and I do here a console log of values, you will see that we get here all the imp important information that we need. We need the label. Which, which could be a text like Monday to Sunday. And then the value here, which would be basically the index number, or sorry, no, not the index number, this is just the number itself. In this case, the label and the value are exactly the same. So what we're going to do now is we want to grab, not this, but I want to grab here now the specific value that we have here, and then concatenate this. So how do we concatenate this? I'm going to say here, backtick, backtick. I'm going to use an ES6 command, and then we just say here, dollar sign, I'm going to put this variable in here. And then what I can say here is a percentage symbol, save, refresh. 
and now automatically it shows of course we could do here another item we could even say text here uh, total total let's do like this save refresh and you get this as you can see we can extend this as much as possible but of course this can be considered here with what you want to show as you know, if not they will squeeze your tick labels but anyway this is basically the way how you can add up here a percentage symbol on the x scale so if you enjoyed this video maybe you might say well i would like to have also a another x scale at the very top showing different values because these are like percentages and I maybe you want to have here the absolute numbers of course right now we didn't do any formula for this but if you want to do like something like that where we have two different x scale in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here on how to add a second x scale in chart.js where you have one with the numbers here down and another one here with num numbers ranging from 0 all the way to 100 while down you only have from 1 all the way to 7